Hi, and welcome to another episode of High Finance. A California investor sues marijuana chocolate brand Altai for securities fraud, claiming the CEO wasted his $750,000 investment on private jets, hotels, and personal bills. The investor filed anonymously against Altai Brands holding company, Indus. According to BuzzFeed, the investor met Altai CEO Robert Weekly in January 2015. Weekly allegedly told the investor that he invested $250,000 cash into the edible company along with an extra $324,250 in non-cash contributions. The investor is looking to invalidate Weekly's claims to owning 39% of the company. On top of that, the lawsuit also accuses Weekly of firing the CFO and refusing to hire anyone else in order to hide the company's fraud. The complaint specifies that the alleged fraud involves false corporate documents, misrepresentation to investors, and artificial inflation of the company's stock price. The investor suing Weekly also claims that he is one of Altai's two largest holders of stock and seeks unspecified damages that will be determined in a trial by jury. According to azcentral.com, the Arizona Department of Health Services received about 750 applications for the 32 licenses that will be awarded in October. If the ballot initiative Proposition 205 is passed, recreational marijuana will become legal, but medical marijuana companies will be first in line to receive dispensary licenses. This provision of Proposition 205 causes controversy by creating a monopoly system between recreational and medical marijuana storefronts. According to Brett Johnson, an attorney working with people who want this initiative removed believes it gives a special treatment to medicinal marijuana dispensaries. Jerry Chesler, an attorney who consulted on 16 medical marijuana applications, agrees that it's an automatic free pass. Proposition 205 is super valuable to a medical licensee, giving them an additional advantage to the lucrative recreational business. Earlier this week, LEAF received $2 million in funding for their development of an automated system for cannabis cultivation. The LEAF cannabis growing system resembles a closet that opens into a complete climate system. The system includes both a water and control system for lighting, acidity, temperature, humidity, and fertilization. At the end of the growing process, the system dries the plant so that it's ready for harvesting. LEAF also provides an app to accompany users in their growing process. The app allows users to control various parameters with step-by-step -step instructions and tutorials. Leaf Growing System can produce up to 110 grams of marijuana every three months. This concludes another episode. Today's news was brought to you by Cannabis Trader. Check out highfinancereport.com for the latest updates on cannabis business.